Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I support the amendment offered by my good friend from Arizona. And I think it's important that the American people have the whole picture before we vote on this bill today. You know, we've talked a lot today about the Federalist Papers, the Founding Fathers, and about their support for, for the bill. But we don't have to go back to the founding. We just have to go back to the early 2000s. Go back to the early 2000s when Democrats talked about these issues in their own words. In particular, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to highlight your own comments at a Judiciary Committee hearing back in 2001. Mr. Chairman, you said the following regarding presidential pardon power, and I quote, there is little disagreement among legal scholars that this power is unrestricted as applied to offenses against the United States, excluding impeachment. There seems to be little disagreement among scholars that Congress has no power whatsoever to put on restrictions or conditions or guidelines on the exercise of this power other than by starting a constitutional amendment. Mr. Chairman, those were your own words. And just a few minutes ago, I think what you were struggling with was relevancy. Well, there's no question that your own words are germane. There's no questions that your own words are relevant. And when you said in 2001 that there's little disagreement among legal scholars about this, that there seems to be little disagreement among scholars, that Congress does not have this power, how can you now argue just a few years later that, that there is the need for this and the, the constitutional authority? So, Mr. Chairman, let me just sum this up for you. As you said in Congress just a few years ago, there's no power whatsoever to put restrictions or conditions on the president's pardon power. You're here today saying the exact opposite. And why is that? Well, it's simple. Because Democrats are simply grasping at straws. You're wasting precious time and effort when we could be doing real work like criminal justice reform, like protecting and strengthening America's intellectual property laws. There's so much that we could be doing that would be constructive for the American people, but instead we're squandering the opportunity, contradicting ourselves or yourselves from just years ago. So Mr. Chairman, I would just ask that moving forward, there's intellectual honesty, that there's coherent argument, and that you put down this witch hunt, that you put down your persecution of this administration and do something that's productive. Thank you, and I yield back the remainder of my time.